So the Agile, A-G-I-L-E, we start with the A, the very first plan, which is to assess your goals. So we talk about that first phase. Is this when the person should begin to plan for retirement? I think people need to begin the planning process 10 years before they actually decide that they want to retire. There's a lot of planning that's necessary for successful retirement, and it takes time to be able to build their wealth in a tax-efficient way uh, to get to that final point when you're actually going to retire. So the planning is very important, and it should start about 10 years prior to retirement. And that takes us right to our next plan, and that's uh, the, the G phase of the Agile plan, which stands for... Get ready. Get ready. Okay, so getting ready. Why is this phase so important to the whole overall goal? Well, getting ready really starts to focus on some of the things that don't revolve around money. Uh, we know that money is very important in retirement, and we know that we need to make sure that we have enough to do what you want to do and to be able to not run out of money. But it's not the only thing. Uh, what's more important is really what is your happiness going to be found in? Do you want to be working part time? What is going to be your new purpose in life? Instead of getting up and going to the office, what's going to be your new routine? Um, we know that Money Magazine did a great article and said that it really is important to have maybe three or four different activities to have a healthy and successful retirement. So it is about relationships. It's about experiences. It's about making memories. It's about really what you're doing to enjoy your life. And that takes us to the very next step, which is the I phase. And that is really a transition time frame in that agile retirement plan. Uh, so let's talk more about that. This is the transition phase of the year before and the year after retirement. What should people be doing to prepare themselves for this phase? Okay, so at this point, you know, we've really thought about retirement, and now it's time to actually make decisions. It's time to make elections. It's time to make irrevocable decisions. And this is very, very important. This sets us on a path for retirement, especially on the financial end of things. You'll be making decisions with regard to Social Security or pension elections. You'll be siding on uh, getting different types of insurance. So these are very this is a very active time in retirement. This may take more meetings with your advisor. And after you do this part of the planning process, then you'll be able to move on successfully to the next phase. And that next phase is the is L phase. Live the dream. Live the dream. So in this phase, that's now somebody is now retired, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not working, right? That is correct. This really means at this particular time in Live the Dream is you get to reap what you sow. You've been planning, you've been saving, and now you actually get to do some of those things you've been dreaming of. You'll get to maybe play more golf or travel or spend time doing uh, family vacations. So this is really the time in your retirement where you actually get to uh, do some of the things that you've been thinking about for so long. And that takes us to the very last phase, which is to embrace your legacy. Why, why is this a little different than the live the dream phase? Well, the legacy has to do with really deepening the uh, relationships that you have with your heirs. It is a time where you can start really uh, talking with them in a very open way to try to pass on the values that you have uh, accomplished in your life, the things that have been important. And it's just a way of really making sure that you are going to pass on to your heirs not only your finances, but the things and the values that you thought were important. So that's just as important at the, as the finances, because some people have different views about finances, and it just may not uh, be yours, but the values is what is going to really be instilled 